Well, Mr. President, when uh, Senator from West Virginia talked about the 40 percent that can come out of your, uh, your hard work, the two days a week of a regular five-day uh, work week, and many families wishing they could get back to a five-day work week because they've really been stagnant in the opportunities for their family for a long time. I think it, it, it's a good way to think about how hard families work just so the government can get more of their money. And this is a discussion about how the government can take less of your money. And for everybody listening who wonders, well, if the government's going to take less of the money, I thought the government already had a deficit and that's, we, we need to work on that. But one way to work on that, and the best way to work on that, is more taxpayers. Not higher tax rates, but more taxpayers. And I think we're looking at some tax changes here that would allow more taxpayers to be sharing the burden, uh, hopefully paying taxes, as I said earlier uh, this afternoon, hopefully being paying taxes on a bigger check, to, a bigger paycheck to start with, uh, and you can take less money um, from the tax code out of that paycheck, and, and the government uh, gets more money because you got more people paying those taxes, more growth. Uh, we've had, I think, the 70-year average on growth since World War II was 3.4%. On average, every year the economy was that much bigger than the year before. Uh, and so it ought to be a, achievable if for 70 years we achieved that, we should be able to get back to that again if we do the right things. But for the last eight years, uh, I think even the last nine years, that growth has been less than 2%. Uh, a lot of our problems will be solved, both our problems of jobs that aren't growing uh, as they should in terms of what they pay, uh, and the government not having the, work, the money it needs to defend the country and do other things, a lot of that can be solved by an economy that's thriving again. More take-home pay for hardworking families, uh, 10 years of not seeing that happen. Now, if you combine good tax policy with um, good regulatory policy, which means the regulatory excesses of the last few years are clearly being brought back under control. Uh, clearly, the federal government is beginning to look at regulation and being sure it's common sense regulation again. Uh, consumer confidence is growing. Uh, every single month, we look at those numbers, and they've generally been better every month than the month before. They've certainly been better the last seven months than they were in any previous seven-month period of time for some time now. Uh, and then you have good tax policy and good competitive policy. And before you know it, things begin to happen, you know, and that stagnant uh, income. And you can see a study here that, well, maybe the income hasn't gone up, but because uh, things are a little less expensive and inflation's been so low and so many of the things that families need are less expensive, really they got more money than they used to have. Try to explain that to a mom and dad who are trying to buy five pairs of tennis shoes for five kids or uh, doing the things that you need to do as a parent. You're just trying to be sure that you could do something for your family uh, every week or so that was a little bit extraordinary. If you don't have extra money, you can't do any of that. Uh, over 75% of the full-time workers in America say when asked that they're living from paycheck to paycheck. Uh, over 20% of Americans say they have zero savings. Uh, and a much higher number says they have less than four or $500 in savings. And these are people whose uh, parents and grandparents uh, had um, worked hard to save whatever they could and would like to see that ability happen again. Lower taxes, uh, we need lower taxes, we need better jobs. Uh, new jobs that are impacted in, in Missouri, 97% of all our businesses are small business. And most of the new job creation is created by small business, so we have to be sure that no matter what else we do in the tax code, we do it in a way that allows small business to compete with big business in an effective way. Uh, competitiveness between uh, the last 15 years, I think we're not as competitive as we, as we used to be. 
Our taxes that used to be sort of right in the middle, our uh, taxes on uh, corporations that were competing around the world were right in the middle. The middle in 2003 was 30%. Our tax rate was 35%. The middle in 2015 uh, was 22%. Our tax rate was 35%. Uh, if you're going to compete, if you're going to create jobs, you're going to have to be sure you know how to compete. And we saw, Mr. President, you and I were able to see, at least I was able to see for the first time yesterday, not being on the Finance Committee, the, the page that uh, is generally agreed to as our, as our, as our starting point, uh, lower rates for families, in fact, doubling the individual exemption. Uh, today, if you're a, a couple and you make, uh, you start paying taxes after the first $12,000 of income under this proposal, that exemption doubles to $12,000 each, and so you'd, you'd start paying taxes only after you made the first $24,000. So there's sort of a new tax bracket here, the zero tax bracket, the tax bracket that if you don't make on the first $24,000, you don't pay income taxes, and then you start paying in a, in a more simple system after that. People would like the tax system to be simpler. People would like to have that postcard filing opportunity where you, this is how much money I made, here's my W-2 form that proves it, uh, here's my standard exemption, here's whatever else I'm gonna be allowed to exempt, my contributions to church and charity, uh, char other charities, uh, my mortgage payment, those appear to be uh, exemptions that will be left in the code, but everybody would understand those. And suddenly you've got about three lines, and maybe by the time you get to those three lines, your tax obligation goes away. The amount of money that people just pay to get their taxes figured out in America would be the gross national product of lots of countries. We need a system that's simpler than that. The death tax, you know, if you're a family farm or a small business and somebody has stayed on that farm with you from your family or stayed in that business with you from your family, very hard to figure out when the mom or dad dies, very hard to figure out who created what wealth as you work side by side to create the wealth. And by the way, you don't have any wealth that you didn't pay taxes on already. You don't have anything that you've accumulated that you haven't paid taxes on multiple times. There's an opportunity here to say, we're, we're no longer gonna go through that. Uh, effort of trying to tax family farms and small businesses. The death tax is exactly that, and it doesn't work. We're going to work to make uh, America more competitive, uh, American jobs more competitive. Again, one way to create more take-home pay, the best way to create more take-home pay, is better jobs to start with. And we can have those better jobs if we work hard to be focused on competition, on regulation that makes sense, on tax policy that not only is simple, but that everybody believes is fair. We have the greatest compliance of any country, I believe, in the history of the world, but people are less likely to comply if they don't think that the tax policy is fair and easily understood and means the same to everybody else. You shouldn't have to have the greatest accountants in the world to figure out what your taxes are, or frankly, to figure out what somebody else's, others, uh, somebody else's taxes likely are. Fairness is important here, simplicity is important here, uh, and uh, competition and better jobs important here. Uh, we need better jobs for working families. I think that should be the flag that flies highest as we begin to look at how we reduce the tax burden and increase the opportunity for more people to be paying taxes because we have more people uh, with better jobs. Uh, and Mr. President, I would uh, yield the floor. I know one of the uh, two of the leaders here, the, the I just left the chair, the Senator from uh, North Carolina and the Senator from Georgia have been real advocates uh, for what we're trying to do now and also advocates for getting it done. We just don't only have this debate. We need to get this done. In my view, this needs to be done this year uh, it needs to be impacting our economy uh, by the first quarter of next year. Uh, and, uh, Mr. President, I'd suggest nobody in this body understands uh, the importance of competition 
uh, more than uh, the Senator from Georgia, Mr. Purdue, and I'd yield the floor.